Hey guys, today me and the husband are gonna be doing Uber Eats. He's gonna be driving today, which you guys already know. I love it when he drives. Um, I can hop out, get the food, but we're both gonna be turning on our Uber Eats app. I have mine right here, his right there. Now we haven't turned them on yet. Um, we will shortly, and we're gonna see what kind of offers we can get. Now let's say I get a really good offer. He's then gonna pause his app until we're close to drop off, maybe like five minutes then he'll turn on his app because we don't want to I grab an offer he grabs an offer that can get you in trouble um, especially if you don't know what direction they're heading in if they're too far apart the apps do not like that that can potentially get you deactivated um, so we're gonna do it the right way and uh, it is a nice night so hopefully the offers will be good we're gonna get these wheels to move and get these apps turned on and uh, check back in with you shortly all right guys so some offers have came in so my husband got an offer for ten dollars seven cents it was a shop and pay for 10.1 miles that's an absolute no and then after he declined it it came to my phone exact same offer exact same pay a decline for me now after a bit he ended up getting an offer for fourteen dollars sixty one cents for five point four miles for a sushi restaurant we are here right now they're usually pretty good the food should be ready so he is gonna take his phone, go in and uh, grab this order, get these wheels back to moving. All right, order was ready for my husband. It's in the hot bag. Customer, 12 minutes, five miles. Um, so when we're about five minutes-ish from the customer, I'm gonna turn back on my app, see if we can line up another order. And uh, as always, keep the wheels to move it. So um, yeah, I will uh, check back in with you guys after we drop this off. Husband's orders dropped off smooth drop off customer left some detailed notes of how to find their place as well as a landmark which is always helpful now as i had mentioned on the way there i was going to turn on my app like five ish minutes from drop off which i did and i immediately started getting some really bad offers um here is just a few of them and they were like coming in back to back um two dollars 66 cents for 2.1 miles that is an absolute no and then they sent me another one seven dollars and seven cents for 9.3 miles that's an example of a few of them and then after my husband dropped off the order both of our phones were silent for a moment and then i finally got something reasonable worth taking for Wendy's, we are here right now. $10.09 for 2.3 miles. That's a good offer. I'm gonna go in there and pick up this order and uh, get these wheels back to moving. Hi, I just have a pickup for Rick Hey, with uh, Uber Eats. Is it right there? Oh, you guys are putting it on the shelf. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You too. Thank you. All right, guys, got the order. So I haven't been to this Wendy's in a while. I guess I haven't picked up from Wendy's for a bit. So I go up to the counter and I guess they're putting it on a shelf now. Um, have you guys noticed that with any of your Wendy's? I mean, which is nice. Now I just got to pay attention. I didn't even see it when I walked in, um, but it was there and it was ready and they had a milkshake. So I made sure to get the milkshake. It was sitting right there all ready to go, which is awesome. Customers, four minutes, 1.4 miles. We're going to go get this drop dropped off. Wendy's orders dropped off, super smooth drop off. It was a house. So on the way to Wendy's, my husband had his phone on. He ended up getting an offer for $8.55 for two pickups for 6.2 miles. He declined that, didn't get anything else. After I dropped off the Wendy's order, I ended up getting a reasonable offer, which I did end up taking. My phone just locked me out of it.
The offer was for $9.01 for 4.7 miles. It's for 7-Eleven. We are here right now. I'm going to go in there and pick up this order. Now, when I've been to this location in the past, sometimes the order is ready. Sometimes it isn't. I know that they get really busy here. Crossing my fingers, it's ready. Um, we're going to go in and find out. Hello. Good. Uh, picking up an Uber Eats order for Katie. Katie? Yes. Katie. Katie is ready. Oh, it's ready. Perfect. Katie is ready. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Got to the order, order was ready. It was actually nobody in there when I went in there, which was surprising, um, but order was ready and that's all that matters. We're gonna go get this order dropped off. Customer is seven minutes, 2.7 miles. We're on our way. orders dropped off now it was at an apartment complex i have been here many many times this is i wouldn't say it's complicated i would just say it's one of those buildings you find the building letter that you're at and the gps will take you there nowadays at least but you have to get out of your vehicle and walk up to each they have maps on each building to see where you're at to find the apartment you're looking for they're kind of like l-shaped buildings and there's multiple entrances and thankfully i went to the right location and the customer was right there or else i'd have to go to each entrance and try to figure out where I'm at to get the order to the customer worked out good so far tonight has been good the husband started us off with a good order got the wheels to moving and then I got two orders um not back I guess back to back but not back to back because I had to take an order and you know decline some in between but it went good tonight and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here so appreciate you guys riding along with me as always and of course if you enjoyed the video do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys